So as I was over the Palmieri's house, our neighbours, on Christmas Eve. We were catching up on family things, their family and our family. They asked me, when am I going to bust out another video? They said their whole family enjoys watching them. That was all I had to hear. It was sweet music to my ears. So sit back, make some popcorn, and enjoy the show. Big shout out here to our neighbors, the Palmieri's, Thomas, Nick, Chris, Brian, Kathy, watch my video, gave me the inspiration to do another one. Thanks guys, Italians for sure, pizza and Joe DiMaggio. The reality tour continues, this is Nick Palmieri's house, thanks Nick for believing in me. Your inspiration means a lot. I will do well on this new video, and thanks again. Thanks for supporting the Bob Chula Retirement Film. Here are the walls that were plastered by Joe the Plasterer. As you can see, it came out fantastic. This is one of Kathy's uh, decorations. She has an eye for the flare. This is one of her uh, paintings that she put up. I'm sure you recognize it. It's a painting of uh, Provincetown, her roots, her, per her Portuguese roots. And as you can see, it uh, came out very, very nice. Very, very nice. Here is a can of paint that we used to paint the walls in our living room and in our uh, hallway. Also, that's the paintbrush that I used in order to do the painting, too. Thought you'd like that little tidbit of information. Well, here I am practicing. I got my neck brace on. Uh, it's been pretty tough, but hopefully uh, in these next couple of weeks I'll be able to do it. I'm going to try to practice on how to put some music in. We'll soon find out if it works. Back in February, I got hurt at the Dome. I used to play Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at the college. Now my basketball career is over. Anybody who remembers me, they know I love the hoops. I could drain the shots. I could play defense. I just enjoyed basketball. Doctor said if I get hurt again, I, it, it could be uh, fatal for me, so I gave up basketball. No more hoops. I still follow the Celtics, though. They are my number one sports team that I watch. I hope they tank for the whole season. I hope they get a number one pick. That's what I'm hoping for. If I was uh, 30, 40 years younger, they could pick me, because I could be a superstar. Good luck. So here I am, getting ready to go to the YMCA. I work out every day. I do 15 minutes of rowing every day. I do the elliptical 55 minutes to an hour every day. I swim on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I swim for 39 laps, which is over a mile. And on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, I do a cycling class on a bike. I'm up to probably 25 miles on those days. Great music, but the women in the class are fantastic. Over and out, Bob Chulo from the YMCA every day.
So I went on my uh, concert tour starting in November. First group I saw in New Bedford, small venue, about 2,000 people. See if you can guess who I saw. Anybody have a clue yet? It was Roger Hodson from Supertramp. They were excellent. They played all their hits. Next up, we took a little trip. Kathy, my wife, and me, we went all the way up to Bangor, Maine. Visited some uh, college friends. We saw a group, Chicago. See if you know what the name of this song is. Anybody guess yet? Yep, 25, 6, or 4. The brass was superb. Saw them in Bangor Auditorium. Fantastic. A week later, middle of November, we went to see this next person, a well-known artist. Anybody guess who this one is? Tiny Dancer, Sir Elton John, somebody who I, we wanted to see for many, many years. Played all of his songs at Providence Civic Center, the dunk. Played for almost three hours. So it's been a good second year. The concert tour has been superb. So here we are in the basement. They put in French drains in the perimeter around the inside of our house. Here is our battery that uh, gets the pump going and there's the backup batteries. Hopefully if we ever do get water again the pump will work and the batteries will kick on if we lose power. It's a great investment and we hope to uh, not utilize this often. We hope that we do not get a lot of rain. Thank you. As you can see, some more remodeling that's going to have to be done in, in the bottom bedrooms, in the basement bedrooms. Uh, they're going to come down with the 2x4s and they're going to bang them in and they're going to uh, get it so that we can have some insulation. Uh, here's the French drains that's in all around the uh, perimeter of the uh, floors. Uh, and hopefully uh, this job won't take long. Uh, we have a great carpenter who is going to be doing the job for us. Andrew Campbell from Kingston. Here's some more remodeling that's going to be done. They're going to be putting in the vanity here. Hopefully a nice mirror there. The toilet's going to go in here. We're going to have this all paneled. We took off the wallpaper and hopefully the bathroom will come out fantastic just like the upstairs of the house. Oh and by the way here's one of my projects. I busted a hole through the wall. Now we have to have a plaster come in. Anybody know a good one? I picked up a little part-time job. I've been driving for my son. He opened up a little limo business. He's driving people back and forth to the airport. Uh, he's doing some uh, uh, party times and he's been doing some stuff for weddings. So if you need a limo, uh, give him a call. Here's his uh, town car. And here's the information. Book it soon, and who knows, you might even get me to drive your limo, or the limo that you're going to take. So far the time has been on my side. It's been a year and four months since I've been retired. It's the second year of my retirement, and I'm loving every minute of it. Hopefully, it can continue for many, many, many more years. This is Bob Chulo on the Retirement 
Year 2 Movie.